Let's just wait Jackie Dempsey and check it out because it's Roster Mania in Chirac. Now, if you didn't know, season two of The War in Chirac started on Memorial Day weekend. Pretty much. Shit is gonna go down and niggas been doing push-ups. Niggas been working out, shooting out. Niggas is getting ready for the All-Star game. That's when it climaxes, okay? Now, the thing is, man, we got all these squads, all these gang, gang, gangs, and everybody got to set their roster. You got to make trades. The nigga who couldn't shoot last season, you got to get rid of that nigga. That nigga was missing way too many times. That nigga giving leg shots. You out of here, nigga. You ain't doing shit. So you got to get the real shooters on the squad. Now, listen, teams are making changes, and they got to do it before the trade deadline, which is July 4th. That's the All-Star game. Pretty much the weekend for Independence Day. That's the all-star game. You guys know what that means. No defense, just straight shots. A shootout. Now, here's the thing. Because E-Day, and he's the boss of the 600s, okay? Pretty much, he had to kick a nigga out of 600 squad just to make his squad a little bit more thorough, okay? Pretty much, he got on Twitter and he said this. He said, one of the six O's ain't six O no more. Pretty short, sweet to the point. This nigga's not a, a man of many words. After all, he did tell me a nigga robbing me died the same second. Okay, so we're wondering who the fuck is he talking about? Now fans kept pointing at one particular person, and this savage, you guys are familiar with them, Tay Six Hundred. Everyone said it's Tay, and I'm like, hmm. Now, apparently, this came with also allegations of snitching. People are saying, oh, my God, uh, we think Tay 600 is snitching. Because also, in the tweet, there was like a little uh, mask over the face thing, and people think he was snitching. Now, of course, okay, Tay 600 had to answer to those allegations. And pretty much, this is what he said. He got online, and I, I, I guess this has something to do with C-Day, because he says, I'm telling on 22 and 22 C day. I'm telling on 22, but I never been subpoenaed to court. How? If I told 12 anything, I'd be book. You can't tell nothing unless you was there with them, right or wrong. Okay, the, the fact that he even said unless he was there with him means somebody was anyway. Uh, let's go. He says, "LOL, nah, I'm fool, but I'm the shooter in your songs." How? I get on the internet and see niggas saying anything every day. Play like y'all want to win and quit turning the fucking ball. Oh, okay. Th th listen, this nigga's a true savage. He could go from tweeting about demonic shit to just tweeting about the fucking Cavs playing basketball. This guy's a legend. Okay. Now, let me keep going up. I'll find the rest of the tweets. He also said this. Okay. He said, I see this same dirty, broke, bummy, infested ass niggas. Sneak dissing. You could have tried to do whatever you wanted to do if you wasn't on the internet tweeting and IG and everything. Social gangster, that's what you are. And I heard about that fool shit from last night too. Learn how to aim before you step to me because I know how to play. Niggas really ain't on shit. Fuck what you heard. Now, he also said, any broke, bummy ass niggas dissing me gotta pay me. To diss him back. I don't beef with the scum of the earth. Now I'm not sure if he's talking about E-Day in these particular tweets. Because he's calling somebody a bum. And I don't think E-Day's a bum ass nigga. Apparently he's the big boss out here. Come on now. The boss can't be a bum ass nigga now. Come on. He must be talking to some random other person. Now he continued. He said 2015 the year of the fake savages. And then he also said. Uh, we really never fuck with each other. When I was out here on that savage shit, a lot of niggas wasn't, okay? Some niggas wasn't made for it. Now, the thing is, man, this is a weird beef or a weird altercation or a weird, like, sneak dissing session because usually the savage just kind of tag each other. Like, listen, they're doing that little race shit. Tag a nigga name, call him out, tell him to stop snitching, or if he don't stop snitching, first 48, nigga. This whole sneak dissing shit, this is kind of new. i never seen it. What's going on here? What's, what is this war Chirac getting to? Sneak dissing? That's for Drake and Chris Brown. What the hell? Anyway, now, I guess there's some allegations that Tay 600 is snitching on C-Day. Now, this is weird to me, and, and I don't want to get into it too much because who knows what these niggas know and what they don't know, but I would think the only people that could snitch on each other in C-Day's case would be C-Day or Rondo. Okay, I think they're both co-defendants, right? Which means the prosecutor would normally holler at one of them and snitch on the other. That's what I'm thinking. But maybe not. 
And also, you got to remember, uh, E-Day did say uh, C-Day got offered 30 years. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, apparently, uh, Tay-600 and also E-Day, they're not cool anymore. Why? I don't know. So you get in the comment box, you help me figure it out. These motherfucking savages on that demonic shit. I don't know. It's roster mania, man. Niggas got to make cut. Who's going to pick up Tay-600 now, man? I hear he's a valuable shooter in the field. We need him, okay? Sporty Jackie Dummies, get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. Definitely subscribe. Follow me on Instagram right about now, at iMacademics, and on Twitter, at iMacademics. I'm out.